My name is Bert, and this is the Still Life Podcast. Welcome back to the Still Life Podcast, everybody. As always, I'm your host, Bert. Today I want to talk about something that's a little controversial. And while it may not seem controversial to most people, to a lot of veterans, it is. And that's Memorial Day. For a lot of Americans, Memorial Day is kind of the celebration of the start of summer. Barbecues, cookouts, boats, beer, booze. It's almost kind of like a big party in a lot of ways. But for a lot of veterans, Memorial Day has a much more somber tone. With mourning, introspection, and remembrance. So really, the question is, who's doing it right? Somebody? Anybody? Everybody? Well, let's discuss it. Having been out of the military since 2009... I've come to understand that most people that quote-unquote celebrate Memorial Day are doing it with good intentions. And that includes telling veterans happy Memorial Day when in fact, like I said, for a lot of veterans, there's nothing happy about it. So if you're an individual that hasn't served in the military or hasn't had a family member serve or don't really understand, what I would encourage you to say or really to ask rather than saying happy Memorial Day is who are you celebrating or who are you remembering this Memorial Day? Or even I'm thinking about you this Memorial Day. I was fortunate enough on my deployment to have come back home with all but one member of our unit. Of course, it's very sad and I do remember him, but really I have to ask myself, would he want me to be in mourning for him or would he want me to be celebrating? And I believe as a veteran, that's something that's very important to ask ourselves. Because I know when I go, I hope everybody has a huge party. I want a big nacho buffet, kegs, drinks. I want everybody to have a great time. However, I can say in almost 40 years of life, I've never been to a fun funeral. I mean, my whole goal is to put the word fun in funeral. So, you know, I want people to celebrate, and when people think of me after I'm gone, I want those thoughts to bring joy to their life. I want them to remember all the good times and all the fun and laughs that we had when I was here on Earth. Now, for those who haven't served, aren't veterans, you know, it's a little different, and for everyone else, it's kind of paying homage or paying respect to the sacrifices that others have made and the service that others have made on behalf of our country. Now, that's where it can get a little tricky because obviously, you know, when you're celebrating, for the most part, you're doing it with the right intentions. You're celebrating those who made the ultimate sacrifice so that we could live the lives that we are living. You know, so I will happily join my non-service member, non-veteran friends at a barbecue or party get together because I understand that they are celebrating and essentially giving thanks to those who laid down their lives. Now, there are people out there who use it as an excuse to party. And eh, you know what? It is what it is. I can be mad or upset or angry about it, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't affect me my service to the country, or the way that I choose to celebrate and remember on Memorial Day. And something I want to make clear, too, is that when I say celebrate, that doesn't necessarily mean party. And really, in this sense, the word celebrate is interchangeable with honor. You know, how am I celebrating or how am I honoring those who laid down their lives so that you and I can have the freedoms that we have? And so really, I believe at the end of the day, as long as your heart and your intentions are in the right place, you know, we all celebrate, honor, remember, memorialize in our own way. For some of us, it's grieving. For some of us, it's getting together and celebrating with friends, paying honor with friends. For some of us, like myself, I'm going to go visit my grandfather in the cemetery and catch up with him. You know, for some people, it's not leaving the house or engaging with other people because they just want to be alone. And while I really encourage veterans to not be alone on Memorial Day, especially those that are, you know, remembering or in mourning, um, that can be kind of a dangerous place to be. But I would encourage them to reach out to other veterans. You know, if you're a veteran that knows somebody that's going to struggle on Memorial Day, reach out, you know, text, phone call. 
go over to their house, whatever the case may be. Because really, at the end of the day, it's about honoring those who have fallen, but also remembering to lift those up that are still here. And to be totally honest with you, if you have questions about what Memorial Day means, talk to a veteran. Ask them what it means to them. I mean, historically speaking, Memorial Day was started after the Civil War to pay honor or homage to those that died during the Civil War. And of course, now it's remembering everyone, Civil War to Iraq War, who has paid the ultimate price so that we may continue to live the lives that we live and enjoy the freedoms and liberties that we enjoy. And so if you do have a gathering, a party, barbecue, cookout, whatever, I encourage you to take a pause at some point and reflect on your life and give thanks for those who have given their lives so that you may live yours freely. And with that, I'd like to thank you for joining me today on the Still Life Podcast. As always, for questions, comments, topic ideas, and suggestions, or if you'd like to become a sponsor of the Still Life Podcast, you can reach us, the Still Life Podcast at gmail.com. That's the Still Life Podcast at gmail.com. Thanks again for joining me today on the Still Life Podcast. We'll talk again soon.